Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete Google Chat tutorial for beginners. I will show you everything that you need to know about Google Chat, including how you can join teams and workspaces that have already been created, how you can create your own workspace and invite people so that you can talk to them through Google Chat. I will also show you how you can find and message people one on one so that you can get some direct messages. And I will show you the entire chat interface and everything else that you need to know in order Order to use Google Chat. To access Google Chat, we essentially have two different options. The first option is if you already have your Google account and you are using Google Chrome, we can click on the Google Apps icon in this top right corner. And then right here, we can see Google Chat. So we can go straight in. And just like that, we will be taken over to Google Chat right here. The second option is we can just open up a new tab. And in the search bar, we can search for Google Chat. Click on Google Chat right here. And either way, you are now going to be on Google Chat. Once you load into Google Chat for the first time, we will be taken to this screen. And you can see in the middle, we have three different options. We have start a chat. And if we click onto this, we can go ahead and find somebody on Google Chat to start messaging. We can browse spaces. And if we click into this, this is going to show you any Google Chat spaces that you have been invited to. And then the final option right here is explore apps. And this is where you can add different apps and integrations into Google chat. Now we will touch more on this later, but the first two that we are going to focus on is start a chat and browse spaces. So in terms of browse spaces, if we click into this right now, you can see that there are no results. So what this means is I don't have anybody who has invited me to a Google workspace. However, if you are a member of a team or you have some kind of workspace that you want to be invited to, then you can ask either the owner or somebody in that group to invite you. To invite you to a group, all they need is your email address and then they will be able to add you to that group. So I just went ahead and I got somebody to invite me to a group. So now if I click on browse spaces, I can see that I have been invited to this group right here, GeForce Now. So we have two options. We can either preview this group and this is going to show us some of the chat history. It's going to tell us when the space was created. And then we can either go down and block if we don't want to join, or we can click on join right here. I am now a member of this space and I can start messaging with everybody inside of this space. Now, maybe you are not part of a group or you haven't been invited and you want to use Google Chat in other regards. Well, the first thing that I would say in this is you can see down here, we have two different options. We have direct messages. So this is like one-on-one -on -one messages with somebody else where you can almost use this as an online messaging service like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. And then we also have spaces and spaces are kind of like group chats. So direct messages are one-on-one -on -one chats and then spaces are like group chats. You can start a direct message with anybody at any time by simply going up to new chat right here and then entering in the email of the person you would like to message. So I can enter in an email right here and then click on this person's email to confirm this. To start chatting, I then click on start chat and that is going to start a direct message with this person right here. So I can now go through and I can start chatting with this person. I'm just going to say hello. This is Riley. Then I can click on send and that direct message is going to be sent to that person. Now down here at the bottom, we have a few different options because yes, we can just go in here. We can type, we can get replies. We can do the standard text messaging. However, we do have a few other options. The first of these is going to be attaching in the workspace. So we can click on this plus icon right here, and then we can choose between attaching drive files or adding a calendar invite. So in this section, I can choose attach drive files, and this is going to take me into my Google drive. And then I can add something in here. So I can choose anything I want to attach from my drive. Let's just choose this. That's going to pop up right there. And then I can say, Hey, check this out and click on send and then give them access, choose the permissions, all of that good stuff send message and we can send drive files right there. Alternatively, we can also send this person a calendar invite. Let's say I want to book a meeting with this person next week. Well, we can click on this plus icon, select the calendar invite. And in here, we can now choose when we want this meeting to be. So I can go down and let's change this from Wednesday the 10th. Let's change this to Monday the 15th. We can then choose the time of this meeting. So let's say that this is from 12 to one, 12 to one, perfect. And then we can also choose if this is a repeating event. Going down, we can then add the location for this. 
So we can click into location. So we can either enter in like an actual location. I can go for the shard in London. Or alternatively, we could grab a Zoom link or we could grab a Google Meet link and we could add it in the location as well. So for now, let's just leave this as the shard. And then we can click on share and save and send. And as you can see, this event was now created. I probably should have added a title, so just ignore that. But then we can back out and we can create events and invite people to different meetings through Google Chat as well. Another thing that we can do is when we are typing right here, so we can type something else like, are you there? And then we can go into these formatting options and choose between all of these sections. So we have the option to bold, which is this B button, italicize and underline. And we can see which ones are selected because they are highlighted in blue. So if we deselect these, this is just going to be left as bold. We can then choose the text color as well. So we have a few different options for the text color. And then right next to this, we can choose a bulleted list. So maybe we have some tasks to do. I could choose this as a bulleted list and say like task one, task two, task Three. And then if we want to go back and change the color, we can just highlight this and change this back to the color that we want. These final options are stripe through and link. So if I want to add a stripe through in my text, I just select that right there. And if I want to link to somewhere, let's say I want to link to Wikipedia, for example, I just copy the URL, highlight the text that I want to send this in. So highlight and then link this right here. Then we can also change the color back if you want to. And just like that, this is now going to be linked. So if I send, it's going to send a link right here. So I can either click on the text and be taken through to Wikipedia, or I can click on this big kind of image icon that shows up as well. Then from here, a few other options. So we can add emojis. This is pretty straightforward and pretty basic. We can add emojis right there. We can add GIFs and choose from any of these GIFs right here. So we could choose this GIF, send that, and it can add a bit of humor to the conversation. We can also upload files from your computer. So I can click on upload and then choose a file that I want to upload. So if I wanted to send this person this picture of me, I can select that right there, click on send. And that is how we can upload files straight from the computer. And then the final option that we have down here is to link them directly to a Google Meet. So we can click on this right here and say join this and then send. And then we can both click on join this meeting link and we can instantly be brought through to Google Meets so we can have a conversation. So that is the main text area. Up here, we do have a few options. So for example, instead of starting a meeting link, we can directly video call through Google Chat. So we just click this and it's going to ring that person. We can also search. So maybe you have a big long chat history and you kind of remember a message, but you need to find it. Well, we could go up here and I could search for like, hey, and then click on search. And just like that, it's going to bring up all of the messages in here that contain that word. It's also going to bring up some that are similar. So I searched for, hey, but it found the message with hello. So you can search through different messages that you have sent to this person. And then this final section is just going to make this a miniature window in the bottom corner. The final thing that I will mention in this chat area is you can also delete messages. So we can go to a message that you might want to delete. Let's say this, click on these three dots above it and then click on delete. And then we can delete that message right there. It is going to tell the other person that the message was deleted. However, you can delete messages if you need to. Over here on the left-hand side of direct messages, we can also go in here and mark messages as unread. We can also pin certain people to the top. So if we had multiple people in here, I could pin this person and they are always going to stay at the top. We can also choose to mute this person so we don't receive any notifications. We can choose the notifications that we receive alternatively. And then we have things like delete conversation, hide conversation and block and report this person. So that is direct messages right there. We can use this chat menu to talk to them. If you want to add a new person, we just go up to new chat, add their email in, start chat, and then we can start chatting. Now spaces is pretty similar in terms of how we send messages works the exact same way. You can see we have the exact same layout right here. We can also choose notifications straight away. So I'll just set this to don't notify. And then up here, you will notice we have a few different columns. So in direct messages, we don't have these, but in spaces we do. So spaces, we have the regular chat, which is going to show you the main chat, the group chat with everyone. We then have shared, which is going to show you all of the shared files. So anytime somebody shares a file, it's instantly going to be saved here and you can access files easier using this shared tab. And then tasks is where you and your team can actually create different tasks 
you can create who this is assigned to, the due date, and all of that good stuff. So if I wanted to create a task right here, I could maybe say like walk the dog. We can then add details, the date and time this is due. So let's say this is tomorrow at 7 p.m. We can click on OK. And then we can also choose who this is assigned to. So I can assign this to somebody else and click on add. And that task is now going to be added in. So everybody who is in this group chat can go to tasks. We can see the tasks, when it is due, who is assigned to this. And then we can check this off once this is complete. As well as joining spaces, you can also create a new space or group chat by once again using this new chat button at the top. So we can click on new chat, then create a space. And in here, we can create a space name. So let's just call this test. We can then click here and add an emoji to this and then click on create. And I now have this new space created. So from here, I can add people in by clicking on this drop down menu and then going to manage members. And then I can start adding members right here by typing in their email address. So to do this, we click on add, then we can type in this person's email, just like that. Then we can select this person, click on add, and they will now be sent an invite to this group. So over on the left-hand side, you can see I now have two different spaces. If you want to leave a space at any time, you just click on these three dots, and then we can choose to leave this. So we can leave. And just like that, I'm now left from that space. So this is how we can toggle between direct messages and toggle between spaces. And then up here at shortcuts, we have home, mention and start. Now home is just going to show you recent activity. So as you can see, I missed a call. If this person messages me, it's going to show up right here. Anything that happens is going to show up in home. Same with group chat. If there's a group call or something went on, it's going to let you know in the home area. Now the mentions tab is going to show you every time somebody mentions you. What mentions are is you can mention a specific person. So let's say that I have a lot of members in this group chat, but I only want to talk to one person specifically. So I can type in at and then start typing out this person's name. So I could go at Riley Holden and then people know that this is specifically sent to that person. So when somebody mentions you in a message, it's going to show up under mentions. And this is a really nice dashboard to just see anytime somebody mentions you potentially something important. You can see it all here rather than scrolling through spaces. Then start is going to show you any start messages. So let's say that I went down here and uh, do this. What I can do is I can go here, click on more actions, and then I can choose to star this message. So we can click on star right here, and that message is now start. So if I go over to the start category, I can see all of the messages that I have ever starred are going to show up in this start section. You can also go up to this top right corner and you can set your status. So right now, this is set to green, meaning that I am active, people can message me, but I can set this to do not disturb, and this is going to mute chat notifications. So I can choose how long I want to mute this for. And now if somebody clicks on my profile, if they think, why isn't this guy answering? They can click on and see that I'm on do not disturb. We can also set as away, and this just shows people you are away from your computer. Or alternatively, we can add a status right here. So I might say like out of office just like that. Clear status after when we need this to be cleared, click on done. And that's going to be added right there. Now, the final thing that I will show you in this Google chat tutorial is just some apps and integrations that we can get and how to do this. So to add these apps and integrations, we go up to new chat, and then you can see right here, find apps. So in here, we can basically add apps that are going to work with Google chat. So for example, we have like Zapier. If you use Zapier in your business, you might want to add this. We have AI Transcriber, which I assume is going to work with video calls to turn the video call into text and subtitles. We have Zoom that you can integrate as well. And then all we would need to do to integrate any of these apps is simply click into this. Then we can click on chat, connect this up with your Google account right here so we can go through. And as you can see, Zapier has now been installed. So we can go in here in direct messages and they are basically going to tell us exactly how to set each of these integrations up. So we could set that up right there. We can go to find apps. We can connect up Zoom, for example. Go ahead and sign in with Zoom right here. Let's connect this up. And just like that, once again, we are going to receive a chat from Zoom. And we can type in help to see what this is going to do. So this message, the messages that they send will show you step by step exactly what you have to do to set this up. 
exactly what you can do with each of these tools. So that is how you can add integrations to Google Chat as well. So that is my complete Google Chat tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.